Hey everybody, it's Tyler here at the Highlander Summit Signature Event, checking in with 4610C, Bent C Channel. They just came off a massive win as we're interviewing here, so we can't wait to dive more into this robot. Uh, overall, they are just looking so good. Probably one of the best, if not the best, wall stake scorer that we've seen here at the SIG event, so we can't wait to dive more into it as well too. We'll be talking about how they go through that process too, using a great color sensor with that. Overall design, very slick with that as well. Uh, implementing a lift since they were at the uh, Mall of America Signature events. So great to see those awesome improvements. So let's dive more into this robot and learn more about it coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Joshua, let's talk about that uh, changes coming in from the Mall of America event. I, I know your performance here, maybe not quite where you want it to be, but here you've been looking absolutely dominant so far. Yeah. One of those big key features is implementing the lift. Talk to me more about it. So at Mall of America, we originally had a two bar coming from the same position. So our issues with the two bar is that it protruded too far in the front. So we would run it into the walls too much and we wouldn't be able to intake rings properly through, through here. Um, so to fix that, we we changed it to a six bar so that when we, when it lifts up, we're gonna have enough reach over the hot, the wall sticks so then we can score it from further distances without having to be as precise. So looking at that, uh, adding on uh, to the six bar on here, how does that work for your stability overall? Has it just made that super stable for you? So um, we had some we had some worries with stability since these are made out of half cut C channels. So far, we haven't had any major bends. We were, we didn't have had any major um, security problems, so it's all it's all looking good for this. For your team, why was it so important to go for a wall six as well too? Because obviously, we've seen the meta of this game evolve so far, where wall six are becoming more and more predominant. Where was that kind of that thought process on your team to say this is going to be one of the key features we want to go with? So, so in this game, you want to stand out. You want to be the best, and in order to do that, we were thinking we have to be able to do something better than everyone else, while everyone else practically is a, is on an equal footing with mogos and scoring we we thought it'd be best if we if we can get the wall stakes fast and quick we can we can stand above everyone else Declan let's talk about the uh, intake on your robot as well too um, you know looking at it once again while definitely a big standout is that area of uh, scoring on to the wall stakes the intake has been working out really well I noticed on here in the front it's kind of a little bit more unique from what I've seen from other teams too. Yeah, the front of the robot we really use um, in the corner, like this this uh, curved piece or slope piece. We use it so that when we go in the corner, the, the ring actually comes up and so we can intake the, the bottom uh, ring very effectively. Um, but the main thing about our robot that, uh, in terms of the intake, is our color sorting. We use a combination of, um, we use a combination of a, a, a vision sensor or a color sensor um, with up top, a, a LiDAR uh, sensor to have super accurate positioning. So we detect color and then detect the position at the right moment. And so um, when we're in take, it'll go on, but when we're blue, it'll fly off, right? And um, the same thing happens uh, with um, when we're intaking to the uh, to the front thing. This is fully automatic, right? Um, where it just flies off. And so that way, even in Auton or in Driver, this is, loop is running all the time, we will never grab blue rings. Um, and that was a big thing at Mall of America where during Auton, we lost the match because we accidentally put a, a uh, when we were red, a blue ring on top of uh, the robot. And having this be fully automatic means that for this, this front um, scoring system to work so well, we have, we, me as a driver, I don't have to like press additional buttons and control when it goes over. Looking at uh, as we continue on to this, let's pass over to Alex to talk uh, more about uh, how you're implementing a hang on your robot as well too. So I'd love to hear about that. And anything else that you want to cover on your bot too? Yeah, for the hang, uh, when we first had it, it was connected to the lift. It was like right here. The issues we had on it was because it wasn't it wasn't that great. It rubbed against a bunch of stuff, and it was a lot. It took a lot more time to do. So what we did was we put it on some pistons. We put some uh, C channels on it. Put it up. We put some hooks right here. So all I have to do is we have to drive up uh, a little slowly. We get hooked up, and we're usually all set for the game. Maybe in the um, later parts of the year we'll have a higher hang, but right now this is good for us with a tier one hang, and it's been working pretty solidly. Yeah. So I was gonna. I mean, do you see that maybe being a future thing where you're gonna have to go higher than tier one? 
we would love to go higher than tier one. The problem is there's just a lot more complexity going yeah. higher because you have to climb. You can't just start from two and just stay there. You have yeah, to go you from almost one need a second subsystem for that then too. Yeah, you right? go one, two, and three, and it's a lot harder to do that than just going straight to three or two. Definitely. Anything else in your robot you want to cover? Uh, for intake, we realized that having a slightly wider intake was. Uh, better for the rings. We kept on having them being stuck around here-ish, then we'd be like shoved out or shoved across, and we just get a bunch of conjuring here. So we made it wider, and so it just goes up more smoothly. Yeah, I'm always a fan. As wide of a base you can have for that, that just gives you more control in the game. So I definitely think it's the right play uh, yeah. for you as well, too. Uh, Nate, let's uh, talk about uh, on your robot here. We're going to be covering uh, your dry base on it as well, too, and then uh, how you're approaching uh, getting rings from the corners, too. Hi, uh, thank you. Um, for our dry base, we originally started out with um, three and a quarter inch wheels and uh, 40 to 80 RPM. We then, I uh, was at MOA, and we dropped down to two and three fourths inch um, so we could achieve max speed um, so we can get across faster. And another part of our robot is this piece right here. It's more, it's a corner clearer, so it allows to push whatever is in the corner, and we have this long so we can get all four at once. You can just run up, put it out, sweep them all out. It even works for MOGOs and everything. Um, yeah. Well, Ben C Channel coming up, a huge win, like I said, as we're interviewing this. We can't wait to see your continued success uh, throughout the rest of this event, too. Good luck, uh, of course, as we film through the rest of this. Can't wait to see how your team does throughout the rest of the season as well, too. And really appreciate you taking time to tell us more about your robot, some design, a lot of great things that teams can take from this. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. First Updates Now has become the Fun Robotics Network. Check us out at funroboticsnetwork.com and all the social links that you see above here. And check out some of our new merchandise options that are both fun and robotics related as well too, both on our website and right underneath this YouTube video.